Fruit Bats. Welcome to another episode. So soon I'm going to be getting back into the celebrity videos. I'm having a little bit of a break at the moment because I'm working on my ebook. So stay tuned for that ebook coming out very soon. And today's video is actually by the vegan activist because he just made the most awesome video, the most awesome thorough video for you know, newbie vegans that I've ever seen and I feel like it needs a lot more exposure. So that's why I'm sharing it on my channel. And although I believe that Raw Till 4 is the best vegan lifestyle on the planet, I'm supportive of all vegan lifestyles, you know, so I am happy for you to eat whatever you like as long as it's, as it's vegan. So with that in mind, check out this video and make sure you subscribe to The Vegan Activist. I'm going to put a link to his channel in the description below. Check it out. When you first go vegan, it can seem overwhelming figuring out what to eat. The idea of finding new recipes and checking labels appears daunting, but it's much easier than you'd think. Regardless of how healthy you want to be, how much money you have to spend, or wherever you are in the world, there are always plenty of things to eat as a vegan. Although I personally eat a diet rich in whole foods like fruits, vegetables, beans, potatoes and rice, the animals on the planet don't care what you eat as long as you aren't harming and destroying them. Just bear in mind that you will be much healthier eating a diet rich in whole foods and you won't feel your best if you're undercarbed and undernourished. One of the most important things for vegans, especially new vegans, to understand is that whole plant foods are much less calorically dense than animal products. If you under eat, you will feel weak and dizzy and making this mistake can often discourage people from living compassionately. Therefore, it is important to ensure that you consume enough calories for your age, size and activity level. It's often a good idea for new vegans to use websites or apps like Chronometer to make sure they're eating enough for the first week or so. For breakfast, there are many cereals that are vegan. Use a dairy free milk and add things like fruits and nuts. Oatmeal is also a great option and tastes great with cinnamon and fruit like raisins, dates, apples and bananas. Toast or bagels are another option. You can top these with jam, fruit, nut butters, hummus, guacamole, dairy fruit butter, marmite, tofu, scrambles or even do a full vegan fry up with scrambles, beans, mushrooms and vegan sausages and bacon. A fruit based breakfast is perfect for starting the day energised and hydrated. You can have a fruit mono meal with just one fruit and you can make fruit salads, smoothies, ice creams and juices are also great for accompanying something like cereal. But remember to base your meal off of calorically dense fruits like dates, bananas and mangoes. These fruits can make up a meal, whereas it's not easy to make a meal out of something like berries. For lunch, bread based meals are very popular. Using fillings like salad, hummus and avocado you can make all kinds of sandwiches, burritos, pitas and wraps. You can also make great pizzas too. And you can also have pasta salads, potato salads, couscous salads and quinoa salads for lunch. For dinner you can make a vegan quiche, a stir fry with wheat or rice noodles and potato wedges, curries and chilies with pasta mash or noodles. You can have vegan burger or fish products with chips, pasta bakes, potato bakes and all kinds of soups. You can make stuffed peppers or mushrooms, spaghetti bolognese and shepherd's pie. Vegan sausages, mash and veg are great and vegan pizza is amazing. For desserts, you can make or buy so many great vegan cakes, pies, cheesecakes and chocolates. You can have ice cream, sorbets, biscuits, bars and chocolate mousses. Fruit is also a great dessert. For snacks, fresh and dried fruit works well, as do rice cakes, crackers and nuts. There are loads of vegan bars like Trek bars, Naked bars, Cliff bars, Rude bars, Frank bars and Luna bars. There are plenty of vegan flapjacks and many biscuits, crisps, sweets and chocolates that are accidentally vegan. When you're eating out, use the app and website Happy Cow which will show you all the vegan friendly restaurants nearby. And there's always something vegan friendly that you can pick up to snack on. For example, you can get a cheap pack of pita bread and eat it with a salad bowl of hummus. And you can also get things like bars and fruit juices. Although things like meat and dairy substitutes are nice, they can be quite expensive and we don't need them to be healthy. You can be healthy and ethical eating on less than $5 a day. Rice, potatoes, pasta, beans, oats, corn, bananas and raisins are the cheapest foods you can buy. And if you base your diet around eating them, it'll be a lot cheaper to live. If you're busy with things like family, school or work, or just feeling lazy, here are some tips for saving time. Make food in bulk and freeze or refrigerate it. You can then have these meals throughout the week and months with minimal effort. Most people don't get enough time to eat a proper breakfast. Oatmeal is quick to make and very filling, so eat a big bowl of that first thing. If you're going out early, get a bottle blender and quickly blend filling fruits like bananas, then drink your breakfast smoothie while walking or on buses and trains. It's also a good idea to carry dried fruits like raisins and dates around to snack on when you get a spare minute. Pita breads are also quick and easy to snack on. And for making meals, instead of chopping and preparing loads of vegetables and things, use frozen ones that are already prepared. 
Although you do not need meat, dairy and egg substitutes to be healthy, many of them are great if you miss the taste and texture of unethical animal products. Some of these are in supermarkets, but health stores and online shops will have a much larger variety. There are loads to choose from like vegan cheeses, meats, milks, yogurts, ice creams, cakes, chocolates, burgers, sausages and even egg replacers. Many new vegans don't realise that not all alcohol is vegan. Some contain gelatin which is made from animal bones, and many are filtered through isinglass, which is from the swim bladders of fish. So if you go to barnivore.com they have lists which will tell you which products are and aren't vegan. It is worth mentioning that a lot of processed vegan foods contain palm oil. Although new vegans should focus on things like meat, dairy and eggs before worrying about palm oil. It is an unethical product which causes a great deal of harm to both animals and the environment. This is why many vegans choose to avoid it where possible. It can seem overwhelming trying to look on labels of familiar products, so here's how to quickly work out if something's vegan. Look out for the obvious ingredients like meat, dairy, eggs and honey. Dairy and eggs are often in bold and in the allergen list, but meat and honey aren't. A suitable for vegetarians label will quickly show you if something contains meat, but look out for these common ingredients. Casein, whey, rennet and lactose come from dairy products, although lactic acid is almost always vegan. And carmine, which is also called red 5, E120 or cochineal, or carminic acid, which comes from insects and is used as a red dye. And beeswax and shellac, which are often used as coatings for things like sweets. Also look out for vitamin D3, which is extracted from either fish or sheep's wool. And look out for E numbers like E542, E913, E966, and E1105. It's impossible to list every single ingredient, so in the description I've included lists with vegan and non-vegan ingredients and e-numbers, which you can use for quick referencing. Don't worry about making mistakes and accidentally eating something with an animal ingredient. You'll learn as you go. Just by eating lots of whole plant foods you'll get virtually everything you need, but you can use chronometer to check that you're getting enough. If you find that you don't eat enough of a certain nutrient, look on this list on adapt.org which explains exactly which foods to eat to get each nutrient. Vitamin D should ideally be sourced from the sun, but if that's not possible, eat some fortified foods like dairy-free milks or take a supplement. Since credible doctors like Michael Greger recommend supplementing B12, I recommend taking a weekly B12 supplement providing at least 2,000 micrograms. You can find recipes to all the meals recommended using Google and YouTube. Simply search vegan recipes or vegan what I eat in a day. I recommend checking out channels like The Vegan Corner and Plant Based Duty. No one really wants to harm animals, people or the environment, and by choosing to be vegan we have the power to save over 1100 gallons of water, 45 pounds of grain, 30 square feet of forested land, 20 pounds of CO2, and one animal's life, every single day. Regardless of how much time or money you have, what foods you enjoy and how healthy you want to be, it's so easy to eat vegan. I've compiled the information presented in this video with links and more detail into a short free ebook so click the link below to download it. It takes hundreds of hours to produce free educational resources like this one, so if you want to help support my activism please visit my Patreon page for more information. As always if you need help progressing to a vegan lifestyle, email me or add me on Skype. I'm happy to help you with any obstacles you're facing.